Well, Andrew, Kathleen, I mean, these stories are always hard to tell, but the visuals that we see here, they tell their own story. Just take a look around me. We see piles of trash, old furniture just waiting to be picked up. We've seen several trash trucks with the city of San Diego move on through these neighborhoods, but they're all telltale signs left here of a community once waste deep in water. We see car after car piled up, all stuck here with nowhere to go. I got to do it for my kids. A community in ruins brings neighbors arm in arm as their reality begins to settle in. We're all, we're all together. We should all unite, you know, do this time, it's time. The buckled floors, piles of mud and destroyed furniture. Everything, God. everything. It's all reminders for Jerry Hernandez of a devastating loss of an old way of life. Yeah, we're going to make it, Jerry. We're going to make it. Now, days later, with the help of his cane, Jerry chugs along the remnants of his home, bad back and all, recalling the moments he was waist deep in contaminated water. I was just standing in the ice cold water, freezing, hurting. I couldn't move. It was so high, people were forced to climb on roofs and stuck inside one home was a 72 year old woman disabled and diagnosed with bone cancer. I love her mom. She's like my mom. I lost my mom to cancer. Michelle Sherman grew up here and now she and her neighbor Robin are taking a walk inside what's left of the house she once knew. You got senior citizens like this lady who's disabled, can't stay there. And then they they can't live in this house. It, it smells. Along with the mess are leftover signs of a rescue. They had to give her tetanus shots and probably antibiotics and all kind of stuff. It was Jerry's daughter who stepped in, cutting her feet on this glass, sending both women to the hospital. So where where's the people that that works this district? I haven't seen none of them. We haven't seen none of them. Nobody have, but you got people going around here giving out cards asking us do they want to sell their homes. And as city crews collect destroyed items, ones that once held so much meeting, some residents are left with feelings of neglect. Just because, like I said, we live in the ghetto, don't put us in the bottom. Don't, don't, don't. No, it's not right. They know how this area gets. Mm -hmm. So it's time for them to step it up and do something as soon as possible. Now, one of the biggest leftover signs here is just piles of mud. We've been trekking through it really all day, and some of this was inside people's homes. There are fans going off right now trying to air out all of these facilities. But just to piggyback off of what the Jerry Hernandez, who we interviewed, just said, he's pointing back to a time 2018. This was the last time that they experienced this sheer amount of flooding, but you know, this time taking it one step further. So still left with nowhere to turn and demanding answers. For now, that's the very latest here from the South Crest neighborhood. Sarah Allegre, Fox 5 News.